Hi, I'm Daryl for Modern Workplace Change. I'm trying to get into the habit of attaching my meeting notes to my meeting invites. And I've been investigating a few options. I've usually used OneNote in the past. I've even started to use PowerPoint to add meeting notes. But I'm going back to Microsoft Word and I'm finding that it's going to make it easier for people to collaborate with me and for me to share those meeting notes. Now, for those of you who like me to get to the point quickly, let's take a quick look at the short story or the short version of this before we dive deeper into the reasons why and all the different steps within this scenario. Let's take a look. Begin by using your OneDrive and storing your meeting notes within a folder there. You can create a new set of meeting notes based off a template then add some details before you go ahead and share it with people who are going to be attending the meeting. Change the permission to specific people so that it's nice and secure. And this will even allow you, if you've got your organization set up correctly, to share the notes with someone from outside your organization. Copy the meeting link, go over to your meeting invite and paste that link into the meeting invite. And it will allow you to check and change the permissions there too at that time if you need to. And then when it comes to meeting time, people can open up the meeting notes. You as a facilitator can open them up. You've found them easily in your meeting invite. And you can start to add notes. And others within the meeting can add their notes too, collaboratively. That's the short story of it, but let's take a deeper dive into why. Why would we use Word to share meeting notes? Now, as I said earlier, I've tried to use OneNote in the past, and that works quite well when you're in a team and you can share that OneNote with team members. Uh, when it goes a bit wider to your organization, you have it work a little harder because you've got to make sure that people can access that OneNote wherever it is. This works well if you've got OneNote within your own OneDrive and you can share it across your organization, but what if you wanted to share those meeting notes with people outside of your organization? And then maybe you only want to uh, narrow it down to sharing just one page rather than the whole notebook. Um, there is the meeting notes app within Microsoft Teams where I can add the meeting notes and I'm in a meeting and they're there. They're right there. Simple, quick, easy way to uh, ensure that people can access those notes. But what if you have people from outside of your organization? Again, difficult to share those notes. And for some who are getting used to using Microsoft Teams and the Meeting Notes app, it's not very familiar. Um, so why have I fallen back on Microsoft Word and combining that with OneDrive? When we share a file within OneDrive, if our organization has allowed us to share externally with people, and I recommend that you do that, uh, particularly using the option to share with specific people if you're concerned about security. Then I can share a single Word document. Everyone's familiar with using that. And when it's attached to my meeting invite, then I can ensure that people will get those meeting notes. They'll be able to find them and we'll be able to collaborate on them if we're sending a link through to the meeting notes. And so this is what we'll step through now, a longer scenario where we look at someone who's preparing for a meeting, they will set up the meeting notes, uh, they will share it from their OneDrive, and they'll invite uh, some people to that meeting, people from their organization and outside of the organization. And then during the meeting, we'll all collaborate on those notes together, and you'll see that it's far easier to write that wrap up uh, at, wrap up the meeting notes at the end of the meeting and deal with meeting actions. Let's take a look at that. Megan is organizing a meeting. She creates a new private meeting invite in Microsoft Teams and sets the subject for the meeting. She invites a couple of people from her organization and Daryl from outside of her organization. Next, she puts in a, just a placeholder for the agenda and then goes to her OneDrive and into a meeting notes folder Using a Word template, she creates a copy of a meeting notes um, Word document and then saves it to the meeting notes folder where all the rest of her meeting notes are stored and easy to find. Next, Megan adds some details to the meeting notes. Megan wants to send a link to the meeting notes rather than attaching them so that they can all work off the same copy. So when she shares it, she chooses the permission specific people and she begins to add people from her organization. She invited Isaiah, 
She invited Nestor and finds him in the directory, and then she types in the full email address of Daryl, who's from outside of her organisation. Megan copies the link rather than sending a message from here. By copying the link and taking it and pasting it into the meeting invite, then it's easy for everyone to find the link to the meeting notes before, during and after the meeting. As it's pasted in, Outlook recognises it's a document and changes it to the name and also presents the permissions so that you can quickly check them. And before sending the meeting invite off, Megan puts in the agenda so it's easy to see when someone receives the meeting invite what it's about and then they can judge for themselves if they're going to add value to the meeting. Isaiah receives the invite, sees the agenda and decides to attend. He opens the meeting notes attachment and it opens up in the web browser where he's already signed in. He sees the agenda and he decides to add an additional item to the agenda. You can also see that Megan is working on the document at the same time. Isaiah returns to the meeting invite, accepts the invite and adds a response to say that he has added a few more items to the agenda and looks forward to attending the meeting. Later when it's time to join the meeting, Megan opens up the meeting invite and joins the meeting. As people enter the meeting, Megan explains that she's going to share her desktop and display the meeting notes on the screen as they take notes together. This is a good practice to keep people focused during the meeting. As she shares her desktop, she then returns to the meeting invite, where it's easy to find the meeting notes because they're attached to the invite, and opens up the meeting notes. From here you can see that Megan's in the document and updating some of the notes, and as other people in the meeting begin to take notes too, everyone is collaborating on the same document and adding talking points as they raise them during the meeting. As the last few items on the agenda are covered, the notes are entered and the meeting draws to a close, Megan uses the end meeting option so that everyone is exited from the meeting. While the meeting discussion is fresh in her mind, Megan wraps up the meeting notes. She uses the comments feature to discuss something with Isaiah, assigning him a task and asking him to look at something before the next meeting. Returning to the meeting invite, Megan uses the reply all feature to write a wrap up message encouraging people to take a look at their action items. Megan copies the link to the meeting notes and pastes it in again into the bottom of her reply just to emphasise where to find the meeting notes. Isaiah receives a couple of emails from Megan. The first email is a notification to say Megan has mentioned him in the document. That's where she gave him a task and you could go directly to that comment. He also gets this reply all to the meeting invite and he opens up the attachment to open up the notes within the document. Scrolling down so that Isaiah can see where Megan mentioned him in the document, he reads the comment, and he responds using the comments feature, at mentioning Megan so she will also receive a notification. There are others still working in the document, and Isaiah wants to assign a task to Nestor, another team member, so he uses the comments feature, and assigns the task to Nesta. As he adds the text and sends it off, this assigns the task to Nesta so that he can manage his tasks from the task list. Back to Megan, she checks into the document and sees that there have been some updates, some tasks that have been assigned and some communication that's continued, and she's happy to see that this meeting has been productive and the meeting notes have served their purpose. So that's using Microsoft Word for taking meeting notes during an online meeting. We've seen that it is uh, easier to share it with people from your organization and outside your organization, easier to attach to a meeting invite, and therefore it's easier to also find those meeting notes after the meeting. So if you're keen to see more of this kind of content around the modern workplace and uh, things that change within that modern workplace, then you know what to do and you know where to find me. We'll see you again soon. Bye for now.